Hello developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. So from today, I will upload a tutorial regarding a service now scripting. And I have divided these learnings into two different parts that are basic learning and advanced learning. In basic learnings, we have 13 topics to be covered and in advanced learning, we have 4 topics to be covered. Let's start with the client record class provided by service now to perform the CRUD operation. CRUD stands for create, read, update and delete. For that I am going to use the background script tool to navigate here from the application navigator. If you will type the background and under the system definition module you could see this menu skip background. Once you click that it will open this page where you can write the script for testing purpose so as just now we have discussed that glide record is used to perform the crowd operations so i am going to create a record using a specific table for our example i will going to take incident table you can take any table er underscore inc and using the new keyword i will create an object of the client record class and here we have to pass their table name and object is nothing but the collection of properties properties can be a normal value or function before creating any record, we have two different methods that initialize new record. Initialize, what it will do, it will create an empty object that can be populated before an insert. And another one, we have new record. It will also create an object but also set the default values if we have set up from the backend while creating the table and fields and for the sys id it will assign a unique id so for this i am going to use the initialize and if you want to see the difference between the initialize and new record uh, let's do that also here first i will use the gr inc dot initialize and after that, what I will do, I will print gr students dot sys id. And if I will run the script, you could see nothing has printed out. If I will use the new record, As you could see, it has printed out the default value generated using this new record method. So that is the difference between initialize and new record. But I will use this initialize first. And there are two ways to set the values. You can directly set the value like this here incident dot the field name of the table for example sort underscore description incident record and other we can see it category uh, And we can say it impact and urgency by using the set value method also. So there are two different ways. Either you can say it like this or you can say it like this.
वैल्यू इंपैक्ट एंड डोनो टू जी आर एंड सेट वैल्यू थ्री यार डॉट इंसर्ट पोस्ट दैट आई कैन प्रिंट द नंबर टू इंश्योर दैट दिस स्क्रिप्ट हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड क्रिएटेड द रिकॉर्ड जी एस डॉट प्रिंट यार एन सी डॉट नंबर other way you can fetch using the get value method or the get display value we'll see the difference between both get value and the get display value soon so let's execute this script so you could see it has created uh the record but where is the number okay here it is let me copy this and let me go to the incident dot list so this is the record which we have just created now we will write this script to read or fetch records as many records you want to fetch that many records you can fetch if you want to fetch a single record you can fetch by adding a limit condition or if you want to fetch more than one records but the best practice is always use choose window or set limit so let me uh, read the record which we have just created this incident record for that i will remove all this scripts and here there are two ways to add the condition to tell the a uh, database that i want to read this record or that all records i want to read so there are two methods gi dot add query so i want to add the condition paste number i want to fetch records so this is the incident number and i'll say that i want to read only one single record so i'll use this set limit i'll say one okay now after that i will ask to database by using this method query and if database will return some results then if i have to check if the database has return if the server has return results to ensure that we have method called has next so if here dot has next this is for to ensure that we have record and the another method we have next to point to the next record
so if there is a record written by database then we'll simply call this method that point to that a row we can say and let's suppose i want to know the caller of that particular incident so i'll create here caller node now i'm going to use the get display value method reason because if i will use get value then it will return the backend value means this field is the reference this caller field is the reference type and if i will use the get value it will return this is id not the name demo w s e r and this reference field is referring to the sys underscore user table records so if i will open the record from here so as you could see uh, this form from the user table this table record has been referred by this field caller so here here in c dot it display value caller underscore id and to fetch the data of particular field you have to specify the backend name not the label name so if you hover over the field label name and control right click then you could see this caller underscore id that is the backend name of this field and if, if you want to check you can go to the dictionary of this color field and go to the configure dictionary and this is basically the column name the backend name by using that you can fetch the value of that table and i said this dot print i saying that uh, this caller of this record is plus caller name let me run the script so you could see oh the r has missed here you could see the color of this record is demo w s e r friends i will create an array to tell to the database that i want to face the value for this fields and i want to know the label name internal type and value of each fields so uh, here let's suppose these are all fields for that i want to fetch the value label name and the internal type okay uh, for the same incident record i want to show the number sub description caller id category internal type label and value what i will do here let me move this i will iterate this array
using for loop okay and and here i will create label variable and to fetch the label of the field of particular table dot because we don't know the field name we are fetching dynamically using this array using this for loop so one by one we will receive these values numbers or description color id and category like to set the value you can do dot walk to get the value also you can do dot walk or you can use the square bracket and inside that you can mention the field name so fields i dot get ed so your get ed is nothing but get element descriptor for other also for tree value display value for the value you can use this get value method for to get the display value you can use get display value and now we'll use this print method and I'll print accordingly. I'll say a uh, field name colon space label. So let me change this one label and type value display value ok d value and let's run the script so you could see the first field name number is string and the value is this and display value is this so short description type is string and this is the value and display value is also same for the caller you could see the type is reference and it is referring to sys user table record and this is the sys id of the table record and display value is the caller name and the category type is string and the value hardware and the display value is hardware now we will write the way to fetch more than one records so let's create an object first and I'll take incident table only if you want to add the filter you can add the filter using add encoded query functions also so in this we can pass the encoded query from here I'll go to the list of this incident table records and I'll add the filter here color is uh, dynamic and it's dynamic and me and I'll say active is true. So there are only one records. Let me add another filter. Category hardware and active. 
true run so i'll copy the query from here from the bread crumb if you right click it will show these options and from here you have to select this copy query and it will copy your query and all you have to do here is that just paste here in your add encoded query method and post that just call this query method again and this condition of this table will return six records not the single one earlier we had used if condition but for now we have to use while loop so as many records will receive this next method will point your cursor to the next row and that next row will return you object so let me print the number first number so you could see number of incidents let's suppose you are writing the script to return the list of an object so i will create a here in slice with empty value and inside this array i will push an object so inside the while loop let's prepare an object obj and i'll add the full name here dot uh, there is a field called sys class name using that you can fetch the table name of the record get value okay and obj dot i'll say record id and in this variable i'll store the sys id of the record and obj dot number so i will add three properties only and i will push this object into this list array list dot push obj and let's run our script we have ran the script but nothing is showing as an output because we have print print out so let me print gs dot print and if i directly print this list array will show like this because your array containing the list of objects and which is an object we have to convert into the json string only we can read from the output here so we'll do json dot 
signify means we are converting this object a object into the json string and any indentation the space so you could see this is basically the space okay so you could see the table name record id incident number So this is the way to fetch more than one records. So let's learn about deleting the records. So what I will do, I will delete uh, so much. I will delete this record. I will copy the query from here and replace this query by our copied query so to delete also first we have to read and if we will find the record then only we can delete we remove these things from here okay And again, if you are reading the single record, choose the set limit. And all you have to do here is that a method called delete record. For the deletion of single record, and if I run the script, it has deleted one record. If I will go here and refresh it, you could see that record is not showing here. Let's suppose you want to delete multiple records. For that, we'll copy this query again replace this encoded query and to delete the multiple records using the same filter you don't have to uh, use this concept you don't have to use even while loop also but it depends on the complexity or the requirement but the best this is let me remove this one also if you are using the same filter to delete multiple records then dot delete multiple and if i will execute this it will delete all the records so you could see it has deleted five records so let me rephrase again this list. So this is the way to delete the records. Now the last but not the least, let's learn about updating records. So I'm going to update this record by putting the color field value and by updating the card description. So all I have to do is I will copy this incident number. And the encoded query, let me replace this encoded query number equal to will be this and dot. See if uh, you are updating the single record, then probably. Not the probably, but you have to write this way 
and then you have to update your record and if you are updating a multiple records having a same filter condition then you have to use update multiple this method here here mc dot update multiple before that you have to set the value and if you are deleting the single record then you have to use delete uh, you are up updating the single record then you have to use update the only difference is that for the single record you have to use this if condition and before this statement this update you have to set the value and you know how to set the value using the set value method the backend name of the short description field and the value here will be test test replaced like that for the single record uh, for the multiple record you don't have to write this if condition this method update after the query this method all you have to do here is that you have to set the values the id and and i will set myself here so i will call the client system method gs.get user id it will return the login user id because uh, this color will store the value which is the sys id of uh, the reference table of this thread which is sys user table so let me run the script so you could see it has updated this record and you could see the caller and the sub description so this is the way to update record